They're not of the same school age, but they're all here forced together by the sheer lack of alternatives. There's no school for these children even at the heart of the Malian capital Bamako. Their families have been displaced by ethnic fighting and attacks by local armed groups in the central region of Mopti. At least 3,000 individuals are huddled in these cocoons of stick and straw in the Faladie camp for the displaced in West Bamako. Zakaria Jallo, a displaced Fulani from the central area of Burkesi, is trying to help them. As a Quranic teacher, I have decided to do my share. The children are living in really bad conditions. The place is so dirty, as you can see. So at least I can give them something that can help them later in life. Zakaria lost two brothers during the violence. They left behind four widows and several children in need of care and education. His neighbor in the camp, Fatumata Ongoiba, a Dogon, is supposed to be his enemy. But the two communities who fought one another in Mopti are sharing the same camp in Bamako peacefully. She also brought her children here without any guarantees they'll get an education. She knows that the chances back home are even slimmer. A quarter of schools in the central region of Mopti have remained closed since 2019. It's a nationwide crisis, especially in the north, where armed groups are fighting against the central government. Schools in Timbuktu are struggling. The historic city is under partial siege by an Al-Qaeda affiliate. Flights to the city have been suspended and river transport disrupted. The central government is all but totally absent. We are quite concerned that about half a million children will not return to school. That is the overall situation um, of the education uh, situation in Mali currently. However, um, we must recognize that the Ministry of Education with partners are doing a lot to make sure that these children go back to school. The UN is trying to help, but that may become a real challenge, especially when its last peacekeepers will leave Mali by the end of December. That's only three months from now, and if no solid protection measures are put in place ahead of that date, the state of education and of peace itself in this country may go from bad to worse. Mohamed Val, Al Jazeera, Bamako. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.